All right, I'm going to do a little compare and contrast. Often when I'm talking to people about their photography, they're confused about which camera is the right camera for them to buy. So I thought I would take a few minutes to talk about the difference between the smaller point and shoots, um, also known as compact digital, as compared to more of the low end digital single lens reflex cameras. And then I also have here um, more of the professional 35 millimeter as well. So the main, one of the main differences that you're going to run into is price. Now you can get the compact digital cameras from anywhere from $100 up to like $500. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to spend $500 to get a great compact digital camera. But some of the differences in the features are with this camera, there's a built-in zoom lens, which um, you cannot change. So it is what it is, and the quality of the, the a lens on this compared to the quality of a lens on a digital single lens reflex camera can vary greatly. Um, you can change the lenses on a single lens reflex camera. Right now, I actually don't have a lens on here, but you can choose from lenses that start at $150 all the way up to thousands of dollars on a lens. So obviously, you have more control with the quality of the light and the, and the types of lenses that you use. Uh, you can get zoom lenses with this as well but there's actually a great zoom lens built in here. It has two different kinds of zoom lenses. There's first, it actually physically does the zoom, and then after a certain point, it does a magnification with a digital zoom. So you can get in really quite close to the subject. There's something obvious here. The, the digital, um, you know, compact digital camera is also very small, very portable, and this camera gets a little bit bulkier. And as you can see, with a larger lens on it, it can get even more bulky. And you know, you might not want to carry that with you every time you leave the house. This camera, like I said before, has video built in, uh, which is something you will not get with these other two cameras. However, the compact digital camera is somewhat more limited with the kinds of things that you can do with controlling your light and your speed of your film and um, etc. Where on this camera you have quite a bit of control. Both cameras have built-in programs for shooting portraits or night shots. Uh, both of these have built-in flashes, although the lower end pro camera typically does not have a built-in flash. Now price points, I mean you're looking at this one is a $200 camera. This one just for the body when I bought it was $1,500. And this camera, just for the body, was about $2,500. So as you can see, there's quite a leap here.